Hey, what's up, fellas? Finally done with the control box. And tonight, we're gonna to be testing the emergency shutdown system. The way this unit is gonna protect itself is through a thermal couple shutdown. And the reason I chose that over a flame eye is because in a blower out condition, where if we were to lose blower power, if the fuel pump is still running, we're gonna be spraying fuel, fire will still be present. So an ionization, probe or a flame eye is inadequate for the job essentially these two components right here and this pid controller control the emergency shutoff system this thermocouple probe will be inserted into the flue gas flow stream and it will sense the temperature so what we'll do is we will insert this thermocouple into this cup of cold water to simulate a flame instability or a blower out condition. So what we're gonna see is I'm gonna turn this thing on, the spark is going to ignite, the blower is gonna go on low, the fuel pump's gonna go on low. While all that's happening, we're not gonna have the temperature that we need. So there's obviously a problem. So what we have is this delay off timer. And essentially what it will do is stay on for a set period of time, at which point a bypass connection here on this solid state relay will be actuated, allowing current to pass through even though the red light's out. So when the process value drops below the set value, this solid state relay will cut the current supply off and the pump is gonna shut off. We're using this drill to simulate the pump. So what we're going to want to see is that pump turn off when I put that thermocouple probe in that cup. So here we go. Okay, we're on low. We got the spark. Gonna kick up here in a second. And it's kicked on high. The spark is going to go off. Spark is off and we're running normally. But let's say something happens. Maybe a bird gets sucked in the intake of that blower. I don't know. Builds a bird nest in there. The fuel pump is now off. The blower has remained on to smoke out any flame condition that may cause a dangerous levee condition. See how that light's off now? Now the delay is on. I've turned the system off, but we want that blower to run for a set amount of time after the burner has shut down. And it's doing that automatically so that the user doesn't have to know all these tedious ins and outs of operation. This thing does all the thinking for you. All right, so here's a quick look at the specifications of this control box. This is all the stuff that a push of a button needed to do. We push the button and everything in step one happens automatically. After that, after these times are up right here, these other steps begin autonomously. And when it comes time for shutdown, which we don't have a timer on this thing. It's just you got to turn it off when this, the uh, material has reached temperature for two hours. You would then press the button to shut it off. The pump shuts off, but the blower has to stay on for a while because we want to cool everything off. And if any fuel drips out of the nozzle, we don't want smoke and all that. So we have this here to uh, blow out the levee smoke and to cool off the boiler and everything. In addition to that, we needed a safety temperature fault sensor that would shut the pump off if the temperature became too low, which usually indicates a loss of blower power or a suboptimal combustion condition. So, all of this right here required this much hardware. Now, you PLC guys are out there probably laughing at me, but I don't... Uh, I was not going to teach myself how to do PLC just to do this. I know, I know I can do this. I went into this without an ounce of fear. 
because I've done these before and it's just kind of like an erector set. So this bad boy is wound for sound. Oh yeah, also there may persist a condition in where you would just want to run the blower for a minute. Let's just say you didn't prime it right or something or you run out of fuel or just whatever. There may be a, a situation where we want to run the blower for a second. So. And that'll run for the set time that you have it set at here. Have it shut off. It's that timer right there. But very exciting building this thing. But I'm glad it's over because man, was that a battle. So here is the circuit diagram for the emergency cutoff. You can see here, this is our bypass switch, which is just a delay off. I was gonna use a delay on with the center pin, but I didn't have one. So, we're using the delay off. I have not yet done a schematic of this thing. I felt it would be best to design it as I go. And I just uh, started with uh, step one and worked my way through the whole process.